Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how easy it is to change the Traxxas Max spur gear and then how to change the Traxxas Max pinion gear. Previously, I thought the Armour Granite was fairly easy to work on. This thing, in terms of changing the gearing over, absolute doddle to my mind. But let me get that camera down, show you just how easy it is. Well, to change the spur and the pinion gear, we're gonna remove all of this plastic cover. Strictly speaking, if you just wanna change the spur gear over, you can release these four screws here, and this one that goes in from the side of the case horizontally through there. So don't forget that one. But So do as I do and remove that one first of all. But it's in this case, we're also gonna be changing the pinion gear, we're gonna remove these two as well. But to be honest, I find that removing all six and taking the whole cover off makes life a lot easier, it's rather than trying to squeeze the pinion cover on and off on there. So first of all, gonna remove this screw, then these six. So that's one, that's two, three, four, five, and six. Now I would point out at this stage, I am changing the pinion gear at the same time. If you're not changing the pinion gear, you can leave these two screws in and just remove the this half of the cover. But to be honest, I found it such a tight fit in there that it was just easier to remove the other two screws and remove the whole thing. Hope that makes sense. How to change the spur gear over? You will not believe how easy this is. Take that out, slide the gear off, slide that pin out, undo these three bolts, and the spur gear will simply slide off, put your new spur gear on, put your pin back in very carefully, ensuring you don't do like I just did on camera and drop it down into the gearbox. Put the bearing back on and your new spur gear is ready simply to drop in there. Now, how easy was that? Whoever designed that, very, very good indeed. That is one of the easiest spur gears to change I think I've seen on any RC car of this scale. So now you know how to change the spur gear. Remove those six screws, remove the case, take that out, undo the three screws off of there, and Bob's your uncle, it's ready to put your new spur gear on. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Now, how to change that pinion gear. At this point, I'm very carefully I'm going to take my spur gear assembly and put it to the side because in order to change the pinion gear you need to remove the, these two screws this one here and one in there at this stage when you're undoing the last screw hold the motor assembly in place with your hand because you don't want it dropping out for one reason that will become very obvious in just one second okay with that screw removed carefully going to turn it back over the reasoning for that is you now simply pull the motor out but there is a little pin in here that dictates where the pinion sits in relation to the spur gear you need to take the spur gear out obviously when you turn it upside down it's just going to fall out of the car and you will see there's eight different holes along here they correspond, there's a, and there is an instruction sheet in the Traxxas manual that tells you which one of these holes to use in relation to the pinion size. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on through to H. And just to explain how this pin system works, if you look at the holes the motor sits in, they're slotted this way, and this pin track is actually, it looks, looked at it to start with, and I thought, oh, it's straight. It's not, it's set at an angle. So, pin at this end, Let's the motor sit far closer in to the spur gear. Pin at the other end is pushing the pinion out away from the spur gear for fitting the larger pinion. But the basics of the system are, it means setting the gear spacing between the pinion and the spur gear absolutely idiot proof. Because on the Traxxas website, they give a list of all the pinion gears versus the spur gears on there. And then here we've got pin locations for setting gear mesh. Now this is a 46 tooth spur, which is the speed gearing spur on there. And I've got a 26 tooth pinion, which is recommended for the 65 plus miles an hour. So that's position C on there. So my pin simply fits in position C on there. All I need to do now, change my pinion gear over from my new 26 tooth, 26 tooth speed pinion on board. Now I'm gonna link that pin up to this set of holes, blow the motor mount, and it just kind of pops on when it's in place, for want of a better word. Now all we've got to do, Remove that spur gear so it doesn't fall out. Turn the car over, put those two screws back in and very carefully remember to wire 
the motor fan back in place. Now with that pin back in place, you just want to check that the gear is meshed properly on there. It's, this is a simple set and forget system. You can actually do away with the pin and just use the old fashioned piece of paper in through the gears and then adjust those two screws, the sliding screws underneath if you so wish, if you want to fit a much bigger gear in here or something a little bit different on there. So they can give you options, but this simple set it and forget it system works quite well. The only thing to do is to make exactly sure that a pin is lined up with the right hole in the bottom of the motor mount because when I first put it on, uh, it was standing too far out and the gears weren't actually touching. So you will need to pay a little bit of attention, but dead simple, just to check the gears are meshed. All you have to do now is put the two halves of the gear cover back on, but pay very careful attention if you've got the lighting kit fitted that these wires don't get cut by the end of the case clamping down on there. First thing to do, put that horizontal screw through from there so you don't forget it. So there we are, that's how to change the Traxxas Max pinion gear and how to change the Traxxas Max spur gear step by step. Very, very easy job indeed, guys. Particularly that spur gear. I love the way you can just lift that out and change that over so easily. Very well thought out indeed. Anyway, now that I'm all done with changing the Traxxas Max spur and pinion gear, time to go out and test my new Power Hobby belted tyres. So if you don't want to miss that video, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.